If the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself for battle? So asks the Bible, and it comes to mind right now in connection with President Obama and the economy. To come back from a recession, the economy needs a large supply of new liquidity. We're getting that from the Federal Reserve. But to get a recovery, we also need growth in what economists call monetary velocity, or how fast money is spent. This part is the problem. Consumers are reluctant to buy because they're scared of unemployment. And employers are scared to hire because they're just plain scared. Employers are scared that if there's a new hire, there will be new tax or mandates associated with his or her health care. Employers are afraid that if they build a new plant or a new refinery, there will be new carbon or cap and trade costs, basically charges associated with creating a market and pollution credits. Businesses are just plain worried about what this administration has in store for them. I, your humble servant, travel constantly and speak to business groups. I often ask them if fear of government required costs associated with new hires inhibits any of them from hiring. Routinely, almost all of the hands in the room go up. This brings me to my respectful suggestion for our president. I'm also proposing a new small business tax credit, one that will go to over one million small businesses who hire new workers or raise wages. It's great that you propose tax credits for small business hires in the State of the Union. It's nice that you're directing credit to community banks, although banks already have a lot of money. But in the same speech where you promised these, you renewed the call for wrenching changes in health care, pollution control, and energy policies. Don't walk away from reform. Not now. That scares employers. Maybe it's time for you to go on a long vacation from new attacks on business. Maybe it's time for you to promise that you won't impose any new tax or mandates of any kind on business for at least two years. Now, of course, President Obama has to make up his own mind, and we all respect that. He's the president. But maybe it's time to listen to the Beatles, and in times of trouble, just let it be. If it's good enough for the Beatles, maybe it's good enough for us.